um, it was good to, you know, it was, you know, it was good to kind of get out and play again after uh, yesterday's game, um, you know, shake off some of the rust, you know, and some of the frustration that we had last night. I mean, yesterday it was good to kind of get back to playing and see, you know, see our guys kind of show up um, ready to go. Uh, Coach, for most of the game, it felt like, I mean, we talked about this yesterday, the offense especially just seemed like they were in more of a groove and more dishing the ball around, trying to find an open shot. How did you feel like it was today versus yesterday? We just talked about, like, no, I'm, you know, again, to make no excuses. Like, people are winning games, you know, coming out of quarantine. People are winning games after 20 days off. Like, people are still winning, you know. Um, I, 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 you know, I think we would just – not in a good place. Um, it was kind of like starting over yesterday again. Um, and we got frustrated because things weren't easy. We were kind of, we, we didn't have any rhythm to us. And don't, and listen, Holy Cross played a heck of a game yesterday, you know, um, and they really dictated from the start. They were the aggressor. Uh, they deserve the win um, and take nothing away uh, from them. Um, you know, and, and tonight we, we just try to come out and play with a little more force than we had yesterday and, and really share the ball. That was the whole thing. Play hard and share the ball. It was pretty simple. Um, Javante had probably the best game of this season for him. Like he was really, I think he went seven to nine from the floor, like really efficient, a lot of good passes. Um, how did you feel like he, did he feel more comfortable out there or did he look more comfortable out there to you? That's back and forth last night. We talked about just, you know, just being out of rhythm. Um, you know, getting frustrated and, you know, coming out and being aggressive. We tried to feature him a little bit more in the, in the offense uh, right away, kind of put the ball in his hands a little bit more to kind of create shots for himself and other people. You know, he's our best playmaker. Um, and when he plays like that, we're pretty good. And then, you know, then we're capable, like we haven't shot, we haven't even shot the ball well. You know, we're, we're capable of making more shots than, we, than, we've, than we've made. We just, you know, we really haven't played that well. You know, consistently tonight we played well. We played well in the two games at Lafayette, but other than that, we really hasn't haven't played well. And honestly, the, the other teams have something to do with that. You got to give them credit. But you know, if we just do what we do, we got a chance to be a good team. We just gotta. This is such a a, a, a different year, and so you we've got to try to get into some type of groove um, and gain some confidence and get into a rhythm. And if we can do that, we're going to be pretty good. We got good players. You know, we know we're better than how we played. Like. You know, we know that, all right? So now let's let's try to get into a rhythm and get more consistent with, you know, with our focus and, and our discipline and then on both ends of the ball. Coach, uh, Seamus Webster with the Daily Free Press. Um, last night, Holy Cross had a pretty good time shooting the three ball. And then tonight it was kind of you guys who were shooting better from outside. Defensively, did you do anything different? Just try to play harder. You know, I thought we just did not compete. They really dictated tempo. They they basically just did whatever they wanted against us. You know, and tonight we played a little bit harder, made it a little bit harder for them. You know, um, you know, and, and we got to be ready on Wednesday because they'll be ready to go. And then my last question for you, Coach. Um, one of the other big differences between t today and last night. Um, you guys had 23 bench points tonight. I think you had maybe nine or 11 last night. Um, what was different with the energy coming off the bench for you guys? I felt the first of all, I thought the starters did a great job of kind of setting the tone. And then the guys off the bench, Fletcher, Jack, those guys came in uh, and gave us a nice, a nice boost. Uh, Damon Tate, you know, we had, we had more guys play well, you know, um, it, you know, like I said, we're better than how we played and tonight, those guys off the bench came in and really give us gave us a spark. It was they did a nice job. Uh, coach, my last question: Is there any overall theme of these first four games against Holy Cross to kind of help close out against them in these last two games? I think the biggest thing is just the mindset coming in. You know how you know where's your mindset? Um, you know who's ever been the aggressor? Though that team has has um, has really won. Uh, the battle, you know, I thought, I thought coming to this game, they had, they had really outplayed us. You know, we won the first game, but they outplayed us for most of that game. Second game, obviously they, they really controlled the game. The third game they did tonight was the first time that we, you know, we, we turned the tables a little bit. Um, 
How how are you feeling? I mean, you had a, had a great game, like seven to nine. How did that feel? It feels good. It feels good. I'm tired, really tired. <laughs> you know, you're always tired going back to back, but nothing better than getting the dub and getting the job done. So, feel good. What was the uh, and, I, and we talked to a coach about this too. What, how did you feel the comfort level was with the offensive flow and what you guys were able to do today versus yesterday's loss? Um, I mean, that was something that we talked about a lot. Like we knew we were going to have to do that yesterday. For some reason, we just didn't come out with the, the focus, I guess, to get the ball movement, moving. So today, like doing that, it, you could just tell everything like kind of flowed a lot better. And we were able to get a lot of guys different looks. I mean, it just got everybody involved. So, yeah, that's all. Um, uh, Javante, you got out to a pretty hot start. You had, I think, you had five points in the first two minutes, and then after that, the whole offense kind of started to come together. You started getting it down to White and Matone down in the paint. How, how good does it feel to like get off to that hot start, and then how does that just help the game flow moving forward? I mean, it, it feels good. Like it's just like my mindset is just be aggressive, play my game. Um, and just create for others, create for myself. So when I come out and like I get to like a high start, uh, a lot of people on the other team, they start focusing more and I can just dish it off to open people. So, I mean, it, it helps a lot. So. How is the, uh, oh, sorry, you go ahead. No, you're good. Okay. Um, how is the, I don't know, kind of like the psychological battle been for you guys over the last like week or so? Cause obviously you had all the COVID related stuff um, yeah. You come into Holy Cross on the road, get off to a slow start, and then today you get the win. Like how, how has that whole journey been like for you as, as a mindset? It's, it's been crazy. I can't lie. It's been crazy. But those, like like Coach said, like those are just another ex- like more excuses of why like you might not be performing up to your standards. So look, those kind of things we just try to block them out. We just kind of look at the upside, like what opportunities we have in front of us and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Um. In your two, you've got two wins and then two losses against Holy Cross. Is there anything that sticks out about the wins that you want to take into the last two games? Um, just our attention to detail and just how hard we play and how connected we play, I think are the biggest things. Like we, you can tell we play a lot like better, like when we play a lot better together, that we are on a different level and that's the team we know we are. And uh, yeah, so that, that, those are probably the biggest things.